Hello everyone, my name is Philip Wirtz and I am a junior at Grace College. This past semester I've been working on a research project with two goals in mind. Number one, to rank the hitters and the pitchers in the NAIA Crossroads League, which is the conference that Grace College plays in, as well as make predictions about games that will be played in the conference this year. The first step is to take the individual statistics for each team. The way that we do this is with a program called Selenium. Selenium allows us to open a browser in Firefox and go to the page, isolate the conference data, and then scrape it. I'll run a few lines of code so you can see how this is done. Now you'll notice a window opens in Firefox. If we click on that window, you'll see the web page open and the conference button get pressed. The data is then scraped and they move on to the next team. Press the button, scrape the data, and move on to the next team. Once we have the data, we put it into tables. Once we have it in our tables, we can define our headers and take the specific rows that correspond to the batting stats and put them into a data frame. Here's Grace College's data frame for the hitters. We follow a similar method for the pitchers. We name our headers and we take the rows that correspond to the pitching statistics and put them in a data frame. And here's Grace College's pitching data frame. We do the same thing with our fielding statistics and put them in a data frame. And here's Grace College's fielding data frame. Once we have the statistics, we put them in what's called a pickle file. This allows us to open the file later and get those same tables in a different notebook. Next, we have to calculate what's called the ballpark factor. The ballpark factor is a measure of how hitter friendly or pitcher friendly a home ballpark is. It's calculated by taking the total number of runs scored at home and dividing it by the total number of runs scored away for each team. So we follow a similar process to get this time the games from each team stack stats page. We put the data into tables, we define our headers, and here's a snippet of what the data looks like. We put it into a data frame, and this is Grace College's first five games in 2019. Then we have to isolate only the conference games, which are denoted by an asterisk on the DAC stats webpage. Our next step is to split up the score column. We want to get the home team score and the away team score. So that's what we do here for the team score and the opponent score. Next, we're going to subset home games and away games so that way we can calculate the total run scored at home and the total run scored away. Once we have that, we can divide them to calculate our park factor. Notice a park factor of one means the same number of runs are scored at home as they are away. A park factor above one means a home park is more hitter friendly, whereas a park factor below one means a home park is a little bit less hitter friendly or more pitcher friendly. So once we have our park factor for each team, we're going to put that in a pickle file. And we also put the 2019 games in a pickle file because we'll use them later when we make predictions about games for this year. Now that we have all of our data, we can get into some analysis. If our stats aren't updated, we can run this line, which will run our previous notebook. First, we have to load each of the different tables from our pickle file. Once we have that, we develop a function to calculate some of our useful statistics, such as batting average, pop, total average, base zone runs, etc. We're going to go ahead and run this function for each team's data frame. Here's a look at Grace College's data frame, and you can see the more advanced statistics are calculated over here. Our next step is to find totals for the whole Crossroads League. So notice at the bottom of each team's data frame, there's a total row. So what we do is we isolate that total row for each team and combine them into one. Once we have that, we can calculate our statistics such as on base percentage, slugging percentage, and printout a few of the total Crossroads League statistics. 
So once we have that, we can go ahead and start ranking hitters. So we calculate a few advanced statistics such as OPS plus and weighted on base average by looking at the Crossroads League totals and comparing them to each hitter's individual statistic. The statistic we're going to use to rank the hitters is called weighted runs created plus and that uses the park factor. So we load our park factors and then we calculate our weighted runs created plus which is adjusted for each team's home park depending on whether it's more hitter friendly or pitcher friendly. Next we make sure that everyone has at least 28 at bats which corresponds to one at bat per game that has been played so far this season. We're going to go ahead and add a column for the team and rearrange the columns so that our table looks pretty and we're going to go ahead and drop the total row and the opponent's row from the bottom of the table. So here's what the last two rows for Grace's team look like. Now that our data is more readable, we can go ahead and combine all the tables and then rank them. Notice we're ranking them by weighted runs created plus in descending order. So here are the top 10 hitters in the conference this year based on weighted runs created plus. We're going to follow a similar method for the pitching analysis. The way that we're ranking pitchers is with fielding independent pitching, which is a statistic that isolates home runs and strikeouts with regard to how well a pitcher pitches because they completely take out the defense. Again, run this line if we need more updated stats. What we do is we load our tables, we get our total row from each table, and combine them just like with the hitters. Now those of you that know baseball, innings pitched is usually denoted with a .1 or .2 for the number of outs in the inning. For mathematics, we have to adjust that, so we change it to give us two-thirds or one-third of an inning. Now we can work with our data, we go ahead and combine it, and we calculate our Crossroads League totals. Then we can calculate our constant for the whole Crossroads League. Now that we have that, we can get our data back and calculate each pitcher's individual FIP, fielding independent pitching. Then we combine all the pitchers. Here's Grace College's row, Grace College's data frame. Make sure everyone has at least 10 innings pitched, and we can go ahead and rank the pitchers, as you can see here. Tune into my other video to see how I make predictions about upcoming games this season. Thank you for your time.